Are stress and bloating linked? This is a really common question that I get asked and the answer may surprise you. Now it's no secret that stress impacts our bodies in various ways, but did you also know that it can contribute to bloating? In fact, stress can have a significant impact on our digestive system, causing discomfort and abdominal distension. Now, when we're stressed, our bodies release hormones such as cortisol, which can disrupt the natural balance of gut bacteria and slow down the process of digestion. This can cause gas to build up in your intestines, resulting in bloating. And by understanding this connection between stress and bloating, you can learn how to manage these symptoms more effectively. And by adopting stress reducing techniques such as exercise, mindfulness and different types of relaxation exercises, you can reduce the impact of stress on your digestive system and help relieve uncomfortable bloating. So in this video, we're going to be exploring the science behind the stress bloating connection and I'll be providing some tips and strategies to help manage these symptoms. So make sure you watch to the end. Now to begin this exploration, let's first look at the impact of stress on the body. Stress is a natural response to challenges, whether these challenges are physical, emotional, or psychological. When we face a stressful situation, our body's sympathetic nervous system kicks in, releasing hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones prepare us to handle immediate threats, but over time can actually cause harm to your health. And one of the main ways that stress affects us is by disrupting the balance of our digestive system. Now, your gut is often called the second brain because of the vast network of neurons and the fact that it's closely linked to your emotions. When we're under stress, our body prioritizes the immediate threat and in turn diverts resources away from digestion. Now, unfortunately, this can lead to various gastrointestinal issues, including bloating, constipation, diarrhea, and even conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome. In addition to the impact on the digestive system, stress can also impact other areas of the body, such as the cardiovascular system, the immune system, and even your brain. It can also contribute to anxiety, depression, and cognitive impairment, which just further exasperates the negative effects of stress on our overall well-being. So now we've talked about the impact of stress, let's talk about bloating. Now, bloating is that uncomfortable sensation of fullness or that tightness in and around your abdominal area. It's often accompanied by visible distension, gas, burping, and abdominal pain. While it can be triggered by dietary factors such as foods high in fermentable carbohydrates, such as FODMAPs, or dairy products if you are lactose intolerant, stress is a major culprit. And this is because stress can actually slow down digestion and, as I mentioned, alter the gut microbiome, the trillions of microorganisms that live inside your digestive tract. When this delicate balance is disrupted, it can lead to an overgrowth of certain bacteria, producing excess gas and causing bloating. Additionally, stress can affect how quickly or slowly food moves down through the digestive system. And this can lead to food remaining in the stomach and the intestines for longer periods of time, which can cause a buildup of gas as your body struggles to break down and eliminate the food. But that's not all, because the gut and the brain are in constant communication with each other through what's known as the gut-brain axis. And when you're stressed, signals from your brain can trigger digestive issues like bloating, while gut problems can send signals back up to your brain, increasing levels of stress and anxiety. Now, this might sound like a vicious cycle, but by understanding the impact that stress has on your digestive system, you can take steps in managing it. And the tips and the strategies that I'm about to share with you now can also help to improve not just your digestion, but your overall well-being too. So first up is mindfulness, meditation and hypnosis. Now, you can practice mindfulness-based meditation, which involves focusing here on this present moment and becoming more aware of your thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations. You might also like to try guided meditations and hypnosis sessions to help you manage stress, increase relaxation, releasing that tension from your body, and help with digestive symptoms too. The Calm Gut app can be a really great resource for this with over 100 different audio sessions to choose from. 
And of course, you can find guided sessions here on the Calm and Happy Gut YouTube channel. Okay, next up is deep breathing exercises. Now, this involves engaging with your diaphragm, which can help activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which helps promote relaxation. You can learn more about this breathing exercise in the video that I've linked just on your screen right now. And you can also try different breathing exercises such as the four, seven, eight technique and box breathing. All of these are breathing techniques that help calm your mind and your body. And once again, you'll find a variety of different breathing techniques included in the Calm Gut app. So that's also a great resource that you can follow along to. Now, the next strategy is one that most of us know about, and that is physical exercise. This is about moving your body on a regular basis. Perhaps that's walking, that might be light cardio or things such as yoga. And you can also move your body in other ways too, such as by dancing. Relaxation techniques are also another great way to manage your stress. This might be trying progressive muscle relaxation where you systematically tense and release different muscle groups to reduce physical tension. You can also explore guided imagery or visualizations such as imagine yourself in a peaceful, calming scene to help reduce stress. If you've not yet explored the meditations and the guided sessions here on this channel, then I would highly recommend doing that. And if you're looking for an all-in-one tool that includes all of the strategies that I'm talking about in this video, then I highly recommend checking out the Calm Gut app. You can find all the details below and how to access a free seven-day trial. Okay, so up next is social support. So spending time with supportive friends and family members. I think many of us can feel isolated at times and often the problems inside of our heads can seem a lot bigger than they really are. And certainly talking can really help. You might also want to consider joining different groups or engaging in different social activities that bring you a sense of joy, community and connection. And finally, cognitive behavioural therapy, also known as CBT. This is a key area I work with clients on inside of the Calm Gut program and being able to manage your mind rather than the other way around can make a huge difference not just to your stress levels but to your overall health and well-being. So to wrap this video up if you are feeling stress and you're experiencing bloating you're not going crazy there is a connection between the two and by incorporating different stress management strategies into your day-to-day -day life you can make a significant impact on reducing that stress bloating connection and improving your overall digestive well-being. Remember, be patient with yourself and find strategies that work for you and your life. And if you want to learn more about the Calm Gut program and the Calm Gut app, then I'm gonna include all the information just down below this video. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, as always, put them down below. And up next is a guided five minute meditation to help you release tension in different parts of your body. This session is part of the five minute gut soothing series here on the channel. And I recommend that you find a quiet, comfortable place where you can close your eyes and experience this soothing guided visualization. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.